welcome. In the last lecture, we started looking at models for activity coefficients for binary systems consisting of two components and we said we would limit ourselves to binary systems in this particular course. We looked at the Margulay model and we found expressions for gamma 1 and gamma 2. We started looking at the redlish kister model which is G e by R t equals B x 1 x 2 where B is a constant for the particular system and what was started out in class and left as homework was that uh, to derive the expressions for ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2 for the redlish kister model using the same procedure as we did for the Margulay model. Hopefully, you would have obtained these particular expressions. I will start this again. Yes, ln gamma 1 equals a simple b x 2 squared equation 437 and ln gamma 2 equals b x 1 squared equation 438. Hopefully, you would have gotten this and the same way that we did then at by analysis of the Margulay model at infinite dilutions you know that one of the terms will get to one of the mole fractions will go to 1 and as a consequence the other mole fraction will go to 0. Ln gamma 1 infinity equals ln gamma 2 infinity that is b which is the constant b for uh, which would be the constant in the redlish kister model. There is another model again for binary systems to find activity coefficients which is called the Van Laar model. Of course, the model is for G e by R t. Van Laar model says that G e by R t equals a 1 2 dash a 2 1 dash divided by a 1 2 dash x 1 plus a 2 1 dash times x 2. This is the Van Laar model equation 439, where a 1 2 dash and a 2 1 dash are system dependent constants, uh, they are particular values for a given system. And uh, by using the same procedure, I am not going, going to give you extra time in class this time, please take this as homework and do this, maybe it will come back as one of the exercise problems too. By using a similar procedure as we did for the Margulay and the redlish kister models, if we find the expressions for activity coefficients, they would turn out to be ln gamma 1 equals a 1 2 dash times 1 by the square of, see this is to the power of minus 2, therefore 1 by the square of 1 plus a 1 2 dash x 1 divided by a 2 1 dash x 2. Let us call this equation 440 and ln, ln gamma 2 would be a 2 1 dash times 1 by square of 1 plus a 2 1 dash x 2 divided by a 1 2 dash x 1. We will call this equation 441 and at infinite dilutions as we did earlier when x 1 tends to 0 or x 2 tends to 1, we have ln gamma 1 infinity equals a 1 2 quite easy to see you put in x 1 equals 0 irrespective of x 2 this term vanishes and uh, therefore, this term just becomes 1 and therefore, ln of gamma 1 at infinite conditions we are left with a 1 2 dash constant alone. And similarly, if you substitute x 2 equals 0 here this term vanishes completely and this term reduces to 1 and therefore, ln gamma 2 infinity is nothing but a to 1 dash. Okay. So, we have seen three models the Margulay model, the redlish kister model and the Van Laar model. We look at another model which is Wilson model which has some backing in theory it is based on something called a local composition concept. We will not get into the details of what the concept is and so on, 
slightly beyond the scope of this particular course, but you need to know that this is this is some grounding in theory. The local composition is postulated to account for the short range order and the non random molecular orientations if you can imagine that that is fine, if you do not that is also fine. That result from differences in molecular size and intermolecular forces, this is uh, you know some general way uh, gen general basis for the Wilson model, you can look at this if you understand that it is ok. And uh, as we mentioned this model has a better grounding in molecular theory of solutions and not just this model there are so many different models that are available in the literature all these were developed a long time back many decades ago. Some of them are NRTL, UniQuack, UniFAC and many of these require uh, computer programming to get at solutions. Uh, we will not get into the theories I just wanted to mention the theories so that you will know the names when you come across them later and you can easily pick them up uh, once you know the basis GE by RT and so on and so forth you can pick them up and then use them for estimating activity coefficients. So, as long as you know that there are models called NRTL, UniQuack, UniFAC uh, and probably others too which uh, can be used for estimating activity coefficients that is good enough uh, from this particular course. But for now let us look at the details of the Wilson model. The Wilson model says that GE by RT it has to be a model for GE by RT equals minus x 1 times ln of x 1 plus x 2 times gamma 1 2 minus x 2 times ln of x 2 plus x 1 times gamma 2 1 and we call this equation 442. This is the model gamma 1 2 and gamma 2 1 are the constants the Wilson model constants or Wilson constants for a particular system and you could do the same things that we did with the other models the Margulay, Redlich, Kester, Van Laar and so on to get at expressions for gamma 1 and gamma 2. If you do that you know to recall you need to differentiate it with respect to n 1 with constant t p n 2 and then recombine the terms with the uh, with, with the recognition that x 1 plus x 2 equals 1. So, we do that ln gamma 1 will turn out to be minus ln of x 1 plus x 2 times gamma 1 2 plus x 2 times gamma 1 2 divided by x 1 plus x 2 times gamma 1 2 minus gamma 2 1 divided by x 2 plus x 1 times gamma 2 1. This is equation 443 and ln gamma 2 is a similar expression there will be some changes here there will be no changes here L minus ln of x 2 plus x 1 times gamma 1 gamma 2 1 minus x 1 times gamma 1 2 x 1 plus x 2 times gamma 1 2 minus of gamma 2 1 divided by x 2 plus x 1 times gamma 2 1. We will call this equation 444. At infinite dilutions we will get ln gamma 1 you know the, the x 1 tending to 1 and x 2 tending to 0, x 2 tends to 0 this whole term will drop out x 1 is tending to 1. Therefore, we will get minus ln of gamma 1 2 and I think it is the other way around plus 1 minus gamma 2 1 and ln of gamma 2 infinity equals minus ln of gamma 2 1 plus 1 minus gamma 1 2 ok. Just by substituting one or the other x 1 tends to 1 and x 2 tends to 0 or x 2 tends to 1 and x 1 tends to 0 ok. I think we have seen enough models for uh, the G E by R T and therefore, for estimating gamma 1 and gamma 2 it is time to do an example and we will finish up this module with this example of estimating activity coefficients and of course, we will 
uh, we will review whatever we did in this particular module. Okay. The example is as follows, it is a straightforward example, of course I am going to give you time to work it out. Isopropanol which we saw in the earlier chapter as a substance with many biological applications and our very favorite substance is purified through distillation. To design the distillation process for purifying isopropanol, the activity coefficients need to be used. Compute and compare the activity coefficients for an isopropanol water systems system with mole fraction of isopropanol being 30 percent using the following data taken from the literature. The Van Laar constants are given A12 dash equals 1.04792 and A21 dash equals 0 .0 0 0.49179 and the Wilson constants gamma12 is 0 0.10714 and uh, gamma21 equals 0 0.64506. These have been taken from the literature, the journal of uh, chemical engineering data. Uh, if you look at the notes, the uh, the reference will be there. And what I'll do is give you some time to think about it, and then uh, should I give you some hints? I think it's a reasonably straightforward thing. Yeah, it's it's mere substitution. So think about it for five minutes and then take the next about 20 minutes, a total of about 25 minutes to work this out because you need to work out numbers and long calculations and so on and so forth. So, take about 5 minutes for thinking, getting to how to go about doing it and then uh, doing it actually and then we will meet after about 25 minutes. Go ahead please. <laughs>
You have had time to think about this. What we are looking at is isopropanol, and what we need to do is compute and compare the activity coefficients using two models that we have covered so far. You know. And it is quite evident that we have models for ln gamma 1, ln gamma 2, the expressions for them, which we derived from the various models, which are expressions for GE by RT. And, uh, Therefore, if you substitute the constants that are given here with the mole fraction of isopropanol being 30 percent and it is an isopropanol water system, therefore, the mole fraction of water needs to be 70 percent. If you do that for the Van Laar model, gamma 1, you know, ln gamma 1 was this, therefore, gamma 1 would be exponential of A12 dash times. 1 plus a 1 2 x 1 by a 2 1 dash x 2 the whole power minus 2. If you substitute the values which have been given it turns out to be exponential of 1.04792 for a 1 2 dash times 1 plus 1.04792 times 0.3 which is the mole fraction of isopropanol in the binary solution divided by 0.49179 which is the uh, constant a 21 dash in this model van Laar model times the mole fraction of water 0.7 1 for isopropanol 2 for water if you do the calculations you should get 1.331 okay so this is gamma 1 for uh, isopropanol in this particular binary system and gamma 2 a similar expression that we have already seen which becomes exponential of 
a 2 1 dash times 1 plus a 2 1 dash x 2 divided by a 1 2 dash x 1 the whole power minus 2 and substituting the values 0 0.49179 for a 2 1 dash and a 1.04792 for a 1 2 dash 0.7 for x 2 and 0.3 for x 1 and doing the calculations on a calculator you will get 1.119 for gamma 2. Okay. What I would like you to note, okay, we will note that a little later. Now, we were asked to do that for the Wilson model and compare the two. Therefore, if you look at the Wilson model expression which is a slightly longer expression gamma 1 equals exponential of minus ln of x 1 plus x 2 times gamma 1 2 plus x 2 times gamma 1 2 divided by x 1 plus x 2 gamma 1 2 minus gamma 2 1 divided by x 2 plus x 1 times gamma 2 1. As you can directly pick from whatever was given in your notes earlier excuse me and substituting the values in this case 0.3 and 0.7 remain the same as small fractions of x 1 and x 2 isopropanol and water respectively whereas gamma 1 2 is 0 0.10714 and gamma 2 1 is 0 0.64506 that is what this is what was given in the problem statement itself. If you substitute the various values here which you would have done in the time that was given you would get gamma 1 equals 1 1.965. and a similar exercise for gamma 2 would yield gamma 2 equals 1.276. Now, look at this gamma 2 value from the Wilson model it is 1.276 and from the Van Laar model it is 1.119. There is a variation and that is the reason for coming up with different models for different systems this just gives you an idea of the variation that you can expect. The gamma 1 also has a variation in the case of uh, Van Laar it is 1.331 that we got and in the case of uh, Wilson it is 1.965. Okay. You need to be aware of this, there is nothing wrong with this, this is uh, the uh, various constants were taken from experimental data. Uh, so, there is this is the kind of variation that you would expect and that was the reason for coming up with better and better models. We already talked about NRTL, UniQuack, UniFac and so on. Okay, I think we need to stop here in this class and in the next class we will summarize whatever we have done in this module which has been thermodynamics of solutions.